Now is the time, Portal Master. <laughs> Despite such snowy conditions, those who reside in the frozen wastelands have never seen an avalanche. Residents are known to throw bombs off the side of the islands in hopes of triggering one. Just to have a story to tell their children, I suppose. While standing around and waiting for more chompies to come eat you is generally dangerous, there are those who enjoy dropping into special chompy pits over and over again. There must be some kind of reward down there. Or perhaps all of these people are just insane. One of the stranger Molkan traditions is to enter a neighbor's home by way of the chimney, completely unannounced, and yell, Mole drop! At that point, the inhabitant would give the mole a prize based on how surprised he was. One such resident was known to always be very surprised, thus leaving the best prizes. Besides cheap forgeries, there are real treasures to be found in a place known as the Forger's Basement. You just may need to do a little creative remodeling to find them. While Archaeans tend to remember things above and to the side of them, they have a hard time with things physically below them. Odd as that may seem, it does explain why they generally avoid burying the treasure they acquire. Those who do place treasure in spots requiring a drop in elevation almost always forget about it. It was Ankh Beekman who first wrote, The eyes are the window to the mouth, the mouth the doorway to the eyes. In Brock's Rumbletown, a certain totem's eyes and mouth can allow access to another kind of doorway. But Ankh would not know of this, as it is one of many villages the celebrated penguin novelist is banned from entering. A question people have about sky pirates is what they do with all the loot and prisoners they pillage on their in-flight raids. The answer is quite simple. They store it in the hull of their ship. Where else would they put it? While not known for their sense of humor, Archaeans did enjoy playing the occasional prank, particularly in their secret Archean vault of secrets. The prank involved hiding a teleporter under things like pottery and then asking someone to go grab said piece of pottery. The unsuspecting target was suddenly teleported away, giving the prankster the closest thing Archaeans have to a laugh. Though Chaos demands that all treasure found by his drilling machine, Drill X, be turned over to him, some say that Drill X may have squirreled away some of that treasure for himself. Others say that he hid it. Then others say that squirreling away and hiding are pretty much the same thing. In any case, pay special attention to the floors when you visit his big rig. It should come as no surprise that Chaos was never popular with the girls. As a young lad, he used to practice serenading them, pretending they were standing atop various balconies throughout his castle, often substituting large pieces of treasure for the girl. Quite pathetic, really. One of Chaos's first attempts to take over the world did not involve force at all. He simply built statues of himself and placed them throughout Skylands. He figured if he placed enough, people would just assume he was ruler. The trolls, however, found a completely different use for these statues, covering up secret teleporters. Doing the exact same thing over and over again and expecting different results may sometimes be referred to as insanity. But it can also lead to a special reward, at least on the path to wealth it can. The Archaeans took great pride in their complex system of using light beams to pull platforms around. And this was once the preferred method of storing valuables. That was until they invented the dresser. It is quite possible, though, that some purists left a special item or two out on those platforms. And that is where they remain to this very day. Years ago, a group of cave dwellers used to live among the Willigan until they mysteriously disappeared one day. It was discovered that there were a great many secret entrances to their caverns that were later covered up with large boulders, appearing as though someone was trying to keep something from entering the caves. 
or exiting. Rubato ball was once a popular sport among Archaeans. Their favorite part was that the Rubato balls themselves had the tendency to explode. Made for some exciting action on the field, but also led to many accidental explosions when these Rubato balls were used at home, which in turn led to property damage and the occasional reveal of hidden treasure stashes. Of the many mistakes the pirates made with Cutthroat Carnival, Underestimating the public sphere of an amusement park owned and operated by pirates, calling it Cutthroat Carnival, selling saltwater taffy. Perhaps the worst one was thinking customers would pay money to be locked in a jail and shot by a cannon. Most of them ran screaming, leaving some valuables behind.